Hello. Um, this is Tips and Tricks 14. Now with Tips and Tricks 14, I'm going to show you how to create a spotlight if you haven't got one or a spotlight if you've used the spotlight you've got. Now, this is um, a nice little trick. Now, all my tricks or all my um, tips and tricks are normally, and some of my lessons are normally to just to add something to your armory as a photographer. Now, you might think uh, one day when you're taking a picture, yeah, I remember seeing that, I may be able to use it. So let's get on and have a look. Now, I'm going to be using for this just a pretty standard um, garage light, like that. Nice bit of flare, I like a bit of flare. Um, nice and garage light. Now, you could use any light. That's not, uh, I'm only using this because it's better in the video. And I'm going to be using a standard house mirror. Now, this house mirror, uh, oh, that's quite nice as well. There's lots of things you can use. Now, this house mirror is beveled, and I'll show you why that causes a little bit of a problem and how to solve it. Um, I'll show you as well with my famous uh, still life mirror I use, how we can use that. <laughs> um, so, let's get on, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Well, we're going to start with uh, the light, just pointing down like that at the uh, at the table, and then I've got a piece of card just shadowing the table, and we'll sort that out accurately in a second. And this is where I bring in the mirror, and I can then create. And you're going to have maybe have difficulty seeing the contrast in this because the video is very very forgiving. So now I've dropped the exposure uh, so you can see it a lot better. And now with a couple of pieces of black card, we can just cut that down really to the width we want. So I can go, there you go, or you can create two, two widths you want, so you get two nice lights. If you've got a wide, wide enough piece of card, you can actually cut it down to a very thin stripe. You can create all sorts of effects. And as I said, I'm not going to show you a final picture. I might do a film using this technique later. But I'm not going to um, do a final picture because it's something that you can use. Um, you can add other things to it to create shapes. And you can make some very, very interesting effects on a background without having a spotlight. Now I was talking about a beveled edge. And the beveled edge of the mirror <laughs> makes effects of triple, triple reflections, quadruple reflections. Now if you don't want those, uh, you can just put a piece of card to show that that does like that. So it cuts down the bevel, the brightness of the bevel. And the same thing at the bottom, you can cut this as you want. You can just leave a little square. So it's like having barn doors on a light without having the barn doors. Now if you want the perfect reflection, the answer is to have a front-sided mirror, but a front-silvered mirror. Now a front-silvered mirror is quite expensive, but if you ever do see one, make sure you grab it quickly, because that will help a lot. Now what about a small mirror? Well, if our subject's in there, I mean, whatever, whatever the subject is there, we can create with a small mirror some quite nice effects. Now you've got a magnifying side, you've got... Uh, all sorts, but this is a very, very useful type of light to use. It gives the spotlight, but without being a spotlight. Now, I suppose, I haven't tried this, but we could cover half, and you can make it quite a small, quite a thin light. Um, let's try that with the mirror the other way around. As I say, I haven't tried any of this at all. Ah, there we go. So we can do all, we can do all sorts of nice little effects without a spotlight. Can we, oh, we can even bring a nice reflection in there. Hard light. So there we go. Now, isn't that an interesting uh, little technique? Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, now, I love you all, uh, particularly if you subscribe, like, uh, and everything else. Bye.